Hello everybody, my name is Arvid and today I want to show you how to upload images to Firebase's storage framework. First, let's install the Firebase storage pod using the terminal. So let's open the pod file using the text editor. And let's add Firebase storage. and pod install. So now we installed Firebase storage. So let's head back to Xcode and reopen the So let's create a storage reference which is essentially the same thing as a database reference. It is the root of the storage. which is now pointing to console and storage to here. So first we need to get an image which we want to upload. So let's just take the first image we get, save this to the to downloads and back in Xcode, let's just, just drop it inside of Xcode. Let's rename this uh, Firebase image and copy files. So here's our image now. So let's create an image. UI image named Firebase image dot JPEG. Each image needs metadata information. So let's create a metadata object. So metadata dot content type defines what type of metadata you're uploading. So this is a image slash JPEG metadata. We also need a storage reference which means it is a subfolder inside the storage root. So let's call this let temp image ref is storage dot child and let's call this temp dear and give it an image name. This is my temp image dot jpeg. So what I did here, I created a reference to a child inside the storage root. So to upload an image now, we need to use the image reference and put the data onto the server. It's called put data. And we want a completion block. The data, metadata and completion. So the upload data, this refers to NS data. Currently, we just have a UI image. So we still need to convert the image to a NS data. So for now, let's just add meter object, uh, meter data. This is the data and error. If error is equal to nil, print upload successful. Else, if we've got an error, print the error. So to get the NS data of the image, we need to convert it to NS data. To do that, there's something called UI JPEG representation, which takes an input as an image, which is our image file, and the compression compression quality. Let's put it to 80%, 0.8. So this should upload the image to the database. So let's have a look and build. Let's see if we get upload successful. That would be cool. Optional, user doesn't have permission to access. 
So currently only users who, ha who are authorized can upload stuff. So let's just put this to without a condition so everyone can read and write. Let's see if it works now. Let's rerun it. So now we got upload successful. Let's see if we got something in the files. We've got a temp directory and we got a temp image and we got the image uploaded. So this is how easy you can upload stuff to the database. So now let's go back and read from the database. So I just want to comment out the uploading part. So let's just un uh, start uncommenting. Uh, start commenting from here till here. To read from the database, you need the exact path to your object on a database. So we have the object already created. So what we can do is we use the reference and use data with max size. This is the maximum image size the download can have. The default value is this. Completion and is data. This is the data we will get and this is an error if you get one. So let's do the same if check. If error is nil, let's just print the data if there is something. Else print error.localized description and let's run it. Yes, we're getting lots of data back. So let's try to display this in the view controller. So let's create an image reference in here. Let's just minimize this and let's just use a UI image. View. There we go. Center. And let's just do center, center. And add missing constraints and do update. So, and we want the image to be aspect fit. And we need to do a outlet for this. So let's just drag and call this image viewer. So here's our outlet. So and if the data is true, if we got something, let's do image viewer dot image is equal to UI image, so we create a new UI image with with data. So there's data as n is data, and the data is data we just retrieved from the server. And we possibly need to unwrap this so and put a self because it's in a closure. And let's see if it works. And voila, there is the image we just downloaded from the database. And this is how you read and write to the storage framework to Firebase. Thank you for watching.